Hey, what's going on, Shrimp Keepers? I uh, hope you guys are making it a great week. Uh, first of all, thank you for such a lively live stream this past, what was it, Sunday. And uh, and thank you for all the great feedback with the Mists of Shrimp Keeping video. Really enjoyed that one. Um, you guys have been awesome. Just having a lot of fun with the YouTube channel lately. And I figured I'd switch up my Wednesday updates. Uh, instead of doing one update on Wednesday and talking about everything I got done that week, I figured I'd make a video and talk about all the things I got done this week. And so me and Amanda went to a shrimp auction, or fish auction, for one of our local clubs. So I got some videos of that. I got some videos, like, update on Geo, um, the shrimp tanks behind me. Uh, just a lot of great stuff going on. And so I just kind of packed it all into one video. And so, uh, so I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think about the new format. And I'll drop back in at the end of the video to give you guys some announcements. All right, so Jeff has been absolutely kicking butt. So this is a system that he did earlier this week. And uh, you can see it's all ready to go. He just finished this system today. We got the matten filters in. The tanks are like just ready for shrimp. And uh, so I'm super excited about that. Now he's working on the next system. There's Jeff, the myth, the legend right there and in person. And uh, he's just kicking butt. So we're, we're full steam ahead. Not all steam ahead like I said in the past video. <laughs> and uh, we're just going to keep catching stuff. Mainly Jeff's going to be catching it. I'm going to be working on some other things, and, uh, and we're going to keep going forward, and hopefully this will be done by next week, and we can get the shrimp order in. So Amanda's really excited, too, because uh, in her Taiwan B tank, there's actually uh, two buried ones. There's a, what is it, a, um, a blue bolt. Wow, it slipped my mind. And then there's this nice, sexy lady. Uh, this is a, um, on this side, this is a black panda. Um, just a Taiwan beast shrimp, but on the other side, it's actually a a uh, King Kong, which is uh, super unique. Um, first one that I've ever seen that has that unique of a pattern on each side, and I wish she'll turn around so I could get her from the other side. But uh, she's hugely buried, and uh, just an extremely beautiful shrimp. And my wife was like, Amanda was going crazy all night, like, yeah, she's buried, she's buried. And so, uh, so super exciting to have this happen, and also exciting that... Amanda is excited about it, so really cool, and I'll try to get the other side of her. All right, so I kind of ticked her off, but she did come out, and uh, as you can see, like the other side, she's definitely like a King Kong, um, absolutely beautiful. Like I love the patterns on her, the fact that all the stripes go down to the bottom of her body on the other side, and then all quit on this side. Uh, just an extremely unique pattern for a Taiwan bee. And so, uh, so super excited to see what she breeds out and, uh, and what her babies look like. But uh, really cool shrimp. All right, so I want to do a quick update of Geo and how he's doing his new tank. Um, he's actually so much more active. Um, he's hiding right now because I turned his light on. But uh, usually he's just out swimming around. And he spends most of his time over there just watching us and stuff. But we put a Raphael catfish in here with him. This thing doesn't ever move. Like, I don't think I've ever seen it move from this spot. Um, so, but at least now he has a tank mate. Someone he can, you know, pick on or whatever. The, the Raphael catfish will hold its own. But, yep, Gio's loving his new tank. And it's so much better having him in a big tank. Poor thing. He was, uh, he was a little crowded. And then we got the cherry shrimp tank. We actually, we, we sold so many cherry shrimp that it pretty much depleted the whole tank like there's one back there but like on the mat and filter you don't see any and so what we're actually doing sorry you get me in the camera what we're actually doing is we're going to break this tank down and uh actually turn it into a 40 gallon because what's happening is uh my wife amanda you guys saw her in uh last week's video um she's pretty short so she has to use a ladder and like get up in here and the 75 gallons pretty tall so she can't get down to the bottom of it and so we're actually going to break this down and put them into 40 gallons instead. Um, but the reason we set this up is because it's in front of the window. And we want to see like what um, what the color on the red would be. And we use black substrate and some white substrate. And uh, the red like super, super amplified. And so if you guys can and have the ability to keep your shrimp uh, near a window and not worry about the algae and use black gravel, it's really going to make them pop. So... Um, that was a success, but unfortunately it's just not economical for, or uh, economical is not the right word, but it doesn't make sense for Amanda because, um, she's the one that's always catching and that's a little bit too high for her. 
And then these are her little killifish that we got going in this tank. Um, nothing really going on in here. I don't know if they're breeding. They're egg layers. And so there might be some eggs in this uh, moss. Really, all we have to do is just pull it out and, you know, put it in a cup for a couple days or look through, look through and see if we find any eggs. And just haven't had time to do that. I don't know. There's the female. So you can see her. You saw a glimpse of her. But yeah, so this tank's going good. Um, look at this giant duckweed. Or not giant duckweed. Uh, frog's bit. Oh, this isn't... Wow, I'm really killing it today. This is actually water lettuce. And then we got red root floaters over here doing really good. Finally got this tank back up and running. Um, we used to have fish in here, but they weren't doing good. Um, for whatever reason. And so now it's just tons of plants. And so we don't dose this tank at all. It's just like... It's, it's the jungle tank. But um, it needs a good top off. And so we got that. And then uh, we'll walk in the back real quick. And I'll actually, I'll just walk back there. Great, the furnace just kicked on. But we are uh, all done with this rack pretty much. Check out these snails. This is part of our central system. Like, if that's not the most snails you've ever seen in your life in one tank, then you've seen some crazy stuff. We actually have cherry shrimp back there. Let's see if you can see them. See them all in the filter. And so we have this tank going on. Lots and lots of different ram's horn snails. Like crazy mouth. Uh, we got all the fish moved to this system, so that's really good. Look at these Malaysian trumpet snails. The, the blue-eyed albinos are hating them. Literally hating them. Because they keep getting in their caves, and like constantly the males are just kicking them out of the cave. So this is probably, I don't even know, like if I had to guess, there's like at least a thousand Malaysian trumpet snails in here. Like they're just all over the place. Mixed platy tank. Mixed swordtail tank. Some moss in it. We got more. These are mainly pink. Um, or at least these are the ones that came from the pinks. Uh, my wife needs to go here, through here and sort out all the pink ram's horn snails that she wants to keep. Um, got the pistogramma. These guys are doing good. And this is the, the rare, um, the rare Rom Romanian moss that we got in. And uh, it's been growing really, really well. So happy about that. Soon we'll be offering that. We got the, the black chin live bears up here. Not sure if they're liking their new tank or not. Um, they actually have plants in it now, so that's making them happy. So you see the females up there hiding in it. Well, you really can't see. See, there's her tail. And then over here we have the Cynodonus. Cynodonus lucipinus, I think it is. There's these really cool little catfish. So, um, again, this isn't the ideal setup for them, but at least they're in a, in a home and it's warm, and so that's all good. And then we got all these tanks which are all empty and uh, they are just waiting for the shrimp order. Um, all these are cycled, ready to go. And so, uh, so really excited about that. Tons and tons of Java moss. And so Jeff killed it, Amanda killed it. And uh, now it's just a matter of time to get the shrimp order in. And uh, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. So really excited. And it's looking like we got two weeks until that happens. Um, so it's coming quick. So we got, we still got a decent amount left to do, but we're moving along. All right, so we decided to go to the Akron auction today. Um, just getting ready to go inside. They got a, if you guys never been to an auction, you really have to check it out. They have a ton of stuff. I'll show you all the bags that they got. And uh, they just auction them off one at a time. So it's really cool. Amanda's with me and uh, we're just going to go check it out. We're gonna hold it for 10 minutes and we're gone. 1307 on the location. Alright, so I'm gonna pass it along. You leave it. Look who it is. It's Eric Bogrog. Time, time to so. go. Gotta go do water change. Oh man, well hey, hold on. Let me talk to you real quick. I gotta go say hi to Eric. That's pretty cool. That you did. I'll show you guys around here once. Well, on your video thing. So we have a better filter. We have seven sponge filters. You can put that in sound out. We have a filter in here. Uh, one of the sponge filters is the nice one. Alright, so during uh, this section I wanted to talk over because it was a little awkward for me to be in front of the, the whole crowd and, and start doing a voiceover video. So 
Um, I decided just to shoot some footage and then figured I could voice over after the fact. And uh, so this was a fun day. I got Amanda with me, as you can see. And so we were just kind of hanging out. It's cool that she's really into um, aquatics. And so we can really make a day out of this sort of thing. And so, uh, like I said, we're at a local fish auction. I highly recommend you guys to go check uh, out your club, uh, at least a club near you where you can go to these auctions because they literally have everything. Like you can see just in the bags on the camera right now that there is everything. Um, I mean, they have tanks, they have equipment, LED lights, um, all kinds of fish, live bears, cichlids, um, rare stuff, uh, plecos. And uh, the thing that I go for is uh, plants. They always have awesome plants. Um, they call me the Java Moss Man, or I guess I just call myself that. <laughs> but everyone knows me for buying Java Moss. Um, so I'll buy pretty much every bag that I see that comes up, as long as it doesn't go for something outrageous. And so, uh, so it's a good time. Um, you can make some great friends and uh, just a lot, of, a lot of fun. So I highly recommend you to check out your local fish club auction. So as you guys can see, there are a ton of people at this auction. I would, I would guess at the high point there was probably about a hundred. 120 people there. Um, as you can see, there the the tables that are set up now. There was actually a lot more tables um, in the far corner that we just passed up, and so you can still see there's tanks on the tables. A lot of different cool fish. Uh, like I said, uh, breeders from the area bring in a ton of different kind of stuff, and so you never know what you're gonna find. Um, Corey's, you know, look at that bag of Java moss. You know who went home with that. <laughs> and so. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, definitely enjoy these. Enjoy the people and hanging out with them. Uh, a lot of our club members were, were there. Uh, these Synodonis were actually from Eric Bodrock, who we're going to get a lot more videos on here in the near future. And so, uh, so yeah, it's really cool. Um, sorry I got that guy's phone number on there. And uh, there's another one. And <laughs> So don't prank call these people. They might get mad at me. But, uh, yeah, so it was just a great time. And you guys should definitely check out your local fish auctions. So the cool news is, I actually have a buried Paracaridina blue bee. Um, at least that's what I'm pretty sure it is. And so you can see it right here. So super excited about this. Um, also, just really great news. And so definitely wanted to update you guys with that. Um, hopefully they'll be breeding here very soon as far as having babies and all kinds of stuff. So this tank is doing really, really good. Again, this is one that's at my house. And uh, this is a 10 gallon dental uh, shrimp king tank. So, super excited. And uh, hopefully, they'll just keep on breeding. So, the other great news is I don't know if you can see it, it's right in the middle of the screen, though. It's a baby Aurora Blue Tiger Shrimp. Um, just really excited that these guys are finally breeding. And so, uh, so this tank's also doing well. So, I'm really liking these dental uh, shrimp king tanks. Uh, so far, not only are they beautiful, but they seem to uh, to suit my shrimp well because they're all breeding. And so, uh, so really excited about these tanks, and it's nice to have them in the office so I can turn around and look at them and just kind of chill out. And so, uh, so yeah, so these tanks are going really good. You can see here's one of the Aurora Blue Tigers. That's uh, I think that's the female. And there's another female right here. At least I think so from this angle. But, uh, just a very beautiful shrimp, a, a wild caught shrimp, and so uh, so really cool to get these guys um, breeding in captivity. I think this one might be buried. It's too hard to tell, but uh, yeah, so super super lucky to have these, and, and glad that they're they're doing well. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching Amanda's many expressions. She's so funny. Uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm glad that she likes going to fish auctions, and that's cool that she went. Um, Gio's a lot happier. The shrimp behind me are breeding, so a lot of great stuff. Um, some events. I actually am speaking in Erie, PA, at the, at the Erie Club, um, Erie, Pennsylvania, this weekend, so Friday, which is coming up quick. And then uh, at the end of the month, I'm actually doing an event with Dustin. I really need to make a video. I'm going to try to get him on a live stream, and we can talk about the live event. But I think the date for that's the 28th. Um, I'll double check and let you guys know. But I'll, I will do a video about it. So that's going to be fun. Um, just a lot of great things going on. The import order is coming in. So 
uh, some really cool stuff. So thank you all for your support. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sending me emails, um, letting me know that. Just some, some great feedback. So really appreciate it. Much love as always. You guys make it a great week. And I'll talk to you guys on Saturday.